When you play blackjack, you want to uh, quit while you're ahead. That's true with any game at the casino because the house has the edge, which means in the long run, you always lose. Um, the rate that you'll lose depends on the house odds. Blackjack is the game with one of the lowest, if not the lowest, house odds in the, the casino. So this is the best game to play. Um, so today we are going to um, run a bunch of uh, blackjack simulation, not simulations, uh, just based on the statistics of the house odds, game by game, and showing um, how many of these games at some point end up with you ahead even a little bit, and that where you can just quit while you're ahead and you might win, um, as opposed to what happens if you continue playing, which is you lose. So... I generally quit while I'm ahead, and this leads to me winning more often, because, as you can see here, I play six deck. The, uh, the house odds is only 60.64%, uh, which means 50.64% of the time the house will win, and 49.36% of the time you'll win. That's not too bad. Um, the statistical fluctuations game by game often will push you above where you started um, unless you're extremely unlucky and you lose a bunch of hands in a row which does happen um, so yeah so let's uh let's do this and we'll see we'll see uh we'll see what's up with that so i'm on the wikipedia page here because i wanted i mean i don't i wanted a relatively unbiased source i didn't want to go on some gambling website or some casino website uh, where they're potentially trying to sell you a program or convince you to gamble. Uh, so this is the Wikipedia page and uh, we're gonna we're gonna use this number as the house advantage. And we are going to write a Python script. Whoops. So, blackjack. So here goes nothing. Let's do this. We are going to import, whoops, port that plot lib.py plot as plt, import numpy as, num, as np. Okay, so. So, uh, it's better to start with more, uh, I generally like to play with, at minimum, uh, enough to play four hands. So if I'm playing $5 hands, I play at least $20. Five is good too. I guess we'll do five in this one, in this simulation. Maybe that'll be an input parameter. That'll be an input parameter. So, let's see. We'll say that these are $5 hands. Um... We'll just use integers. Um, so money equals, oh, so import sys. sys.argv1. So these are command line arguments, so that the user can just input these when they run the program. Uh, okay. While money is greater than zero. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, money history mhist equals brackets. Um, mhist dot append. So I'm just appending to this array uh, the value of money each time. Uh, well, let's do one. So, and then, if, oh, I think it's just called random, so I need to have a random number generator. Let me just double check. So in Python, If 
from random import seed from random import random okay so seed and random do I need to reset the seed every time yes oh oh no I don't want to reset the seed every time so I seed it once and then I just do okay got it so oops I'll just seed it right here rnd dot seed one if rnd dot random is um, greater than or equal to so this is this will generate a random number between zero and one so that means that I have to, so the house odds are 0.564, right? Yeah. So let's see, greater than or equal to 0 0.564. Money plus, e or yeah, money plus equals um, five. So that means you win the hand else money minus equals five you lose so there's a greater chance that you're going to lose obviously uh, and then what i want to do is uh, i'll just have a counter here counter equals zero uh, uh, plays, and then I just want to append plays dot append counter. Okay, and then all I have want to do after that is uh. Now I just want to do uh, plt dot plot counter money. Uh, plt dot show. You know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. I, I think I should iterate over this so we get we get several games. I mean, I guess the player. I mean, we could do that ourselves. Okay, that's fine. So this is fine. Let's run this. I guess I didn't actually need numpy. Uh, Python blackjack.py. Let's say I want to start with $25. Damn it. Whoops. Uh, I know what I did wrong. This has to be an integer. The command line arguments are strings by default. Okay, it didn't pop up. That's weird. PLT. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Try again. And I'm still stupid. This has to be the array. The array. I have to plot the array. So it's plays and mhist. Ah, there we are. Look at this. See? One, two. Like... This is this is pretty bad. If you had quit at after the second hand, you would have won. Otherwise, I mean, you could have broken even after the fourth hand. Uh, but otherwise, you lose after however many games. I should maybe show. Oh, twenty-five games. You lost all your money. So that's that's sad. I'll take a screenshot of that. Um, Let's try again, $25. Hmm, I got the exact same result. I have something's going on with my random number generator. Damn it. Okay, back to this article. Hmm. Weird.
Rand Int. <sighs> I'm going to try Rand Int. I don't want the same exact result every goddamn time. Oh wait, Rand int zero and ten. I want it to be between zero and nine hundred and ninety-nine. And if it's greater than or equal to five sixty-three. Maybe let's let's see how that works. Oh, whoops. Silly silly errors of mine. Three arguments, really. I don't see that here. Ah, the range. Oh, that's good. I can specify Let's do 564 and go from 1 to 1,000. Good, good lord. Why am I getting the same result every single time? This is like, it's not changing. What's going on here? Why? 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 I change the seed. I don't understand random numbers. They're not random. Oh, here's another. Here's a different result. Here's a different seed. Okay, look at this one. This one is pretty good. You could have gotten you, you could have gotten double your money if you had quit after you know 29 hands or what, what is this? Uh, 20 27 hands. Uh, so this one's pretty good. Uh, you get a good run here, and then you'd lose after a few more hands. So, yeah, so this is the way blackjack works. I mean, you gotta quit while you're ahead. Let's play another one. Oh, it's exactly the same. You know what I should do? Come on. I know what I'll do so that I can get consistently different results every single time. int sys.arg v2. There we go. Now the seed will be set by the user. One. Okay, one always leads to this. I don't know why, but it does. Two. Look at this one, look at this. Look at this set of results. This is uh, it's pretty good. You could have gotten double and stayed there for a while. And then eventually you just, wow, you just tank quite quickly to your demise. Interesting. Let's do another one. Oh, wow. This is a pretty long run. This is a fun... I like blackjack runs like this, where you get you get to play for a long time. See, I would have quit. So, if I'm decently ahead and then I feel like I'm starting to lose, that's when I'll quit. So I would have quit right around here at like sixty dollars. Uh, I get runs like this sometimes. These are fun because you get this is like ninety games before I would quit. Someone else might keep playing; they'd eventually lose. That's what the house wants. Uh, but these are cool. Like when you. You sometimes you start off losing right away, and you're just like, "Oh my God!" You're down to like your last five dollars, and then all of a sudden you get a you get a big break, and uh, you're up ahead sometimes even. So this is a, this is a really good run. I like I like this one as an example um, of when you should quit while you're ahead because eventually, like I said, eventually you always lose. Always, the odds are not in your favor. That's the way the games are designed. 
but blackjack has the best odds in the sense that I mean yeah the statistical fluctuations occasionally pan out in your favor but their fluctuations in the long run you should always leave let's let's do another simulation here Wow. Wow, I've had I've had games like this where you just lose every single game. Uh, <laughs> these are the worst ones. These are the ones you can't even yeah. You just you go, you lose five hands in a row and then you go home. Um yeah. That's uh that's not cool. Let's do one more. Steed of five. Here's another one. You're ahead for a little bit, and then you lose. I mean, I don't know. I need to belabor this point anymore. I think it's been made that if you quit while you're ahead, when the statistical fluctuations are playing out in your favor, you can win. But you always lose in the long run because the odds aren't in your favor. The house wants you. That's why the house wants you to stay as long as possible, and that's why they don't have windows, and that's why they don't have clocks. Um, but you've seen already four out of five games. You could have won if you left early, but you would have certainly lost if you stayed longer. So that's how you play. You quit while you're ahead, and you, if you're gonna go to the casino, play blackjack because those have the best odds uh, that you can actually get ahead. Um, and that, that's it, really. That's, that's it. I'm not going to blame this.